All right, everyone, thanks for joining our free online lesson. My name is Shafiq Farhan, and for today's topic, we are going to focus on Navis Work Platform Flash Check. Right, so in this uh, free online lesson, basically we, our idea, we already done the modeling, okay? And also we want to do a minor editing on the model after we find certain area that have a clash. Okay, thanks for joining. Thanks for everyone that joined from our Zoom here. Okay, Muzawir, Nazif, Ben, David, and everyone. Okay, thank you so much for joining. And for those that joined from our Facebook Live, okay, don't forget to share this video. Okay, to make sure everyone also can learn how to do Navis World Platform Class Check. So in this first thing, we need to know about the plan design workflow. So in the overview of the plan design, basically we will cover on few different kind of software for plan design. Okay, it's not about only one software, which is the, uh, to make it all in for your plan. Okay, so for plan design, we need to know how to create your architectural things, either using AutoCAD architecture or Revit. For PNID, you can use AutoCAD Plan 3D, can create a PNID. For Plan 3D, okay, for piping, piping and also the isometric drawing, you can use also Plan 3D. Okay, while if your company more focus on the equipment, the detailed equipment or a skirt design, then Inventor Pro is the best solution because Inventor Pro <coughs> Inventor Pro equipment, after you've done the equipment, you can link with your 3D piping, your plan 3D to route the pipe. Okay, so means from here, from here, you can link to here and then generate together with the isometric drawing. Okay, from plan 3D itself, you can use to create a structure. Okay, but for the detailing structure, cannot be done in Plan 3D because Plan 3D only applicable to create a conceptual structure. If you require to do a detailed structure, then you need to do it using advanced steel. Just transfer your Plan 3D structure to here. Okay, and our focus for today are this one, which is Navis Work, Navis Work Manage. Okay, to do a clash detection and then go back to the existing file, do the editing. So that will be our objective for today. So I will quickly all my screen here. Okay, so next. So Navisworks basically, uh, Navisworks, Autodesk Navisworks have one features which we call it as a clash detection, which we are able to do a hard clash between all components inside our building. Okay, for example, you have piping versus you want to uh, do a clash check, the test check between your piping and also your structure, then you can use Navis work. Okay, but if you currently using Revit, yes, you can do also interference check, but the interference check is not too details compared to the Navis work clash detection. So they will have a difference between that. So the step is very straightforward, basically. Okay, first thing first, you need to use either this one, for example, you will need to use your plan 3D to create your 3D piping. Okay, from your plan 3D, use this command nwload. Okay, while your drawing already saved and the Navis work already successfully load. Okay, you can append your piping model in Navis work. Okay, can start do the clash detection, insert a rules and everything. And the most important thing is a switch back. Okay, from your 3D model, okay, from your class report letter, you can also bring to the 3D model back and then do the editing. So that will be the main idea of the workflow. So let's go 
straight to our software. So I have a few examples basically. So if I want to use project which I save in a Autodesk Cloud, okay? So for example, here also can be done. Okay, at this left area, if you can see, I have one project with a symbol open collaboration project for this case. So what I can do, I can also link between my coordination. Uh, I, I also can do the coordination and also can do the class check for my uh, cloud project. Okay, not only for the local project. Okay, but for this case, I want to show you first about the idea on Plan 3D to create a platform. Okay, if you want to start with creating platform in Plan 3D, so what you able to do, okay, you can use the, the method or the concept of external reference, extra. X R E F. So if you see on my screen right now, okay, all these items basically are created in a different drawing. Okay, in certain cases, this, this building also not created using Plan 3D. So maybe I'm using AutoCAD architecture created. Okay, and also I have inverted parts, piping, plan, and steel. Okay, most of these are .dwg form. Okay, and then I can copy drawing to Inventor Project here. Okay, can just right click, copy drawing. For example, if I create something that not from Plan 3D. Okay, copy drawing to project. Okay, after done this process, for example, I go to this, my master drawing, my plan out. So when I open this file, so I can see a lot of things in my model. Okay, because of I already extract everything in one lump sum drawing, okay, which is this plan all. Okay, if you see on my screen right now, so I have one drawing which have everything here. Okay, so in this case, if I want to hide something, so in certain case, uh, in plan 3D, you will face this lagging issue because of this this uh, layer problem okay then you can also uh, you can uh, to solve this issue you can just click on this button basically okay for this all layer you just need to click select everything right click and then click on this button reconcile layer Done. okay so for my plan 3d if i already done with one model Okay, and then I want to do a class check. Okay, like I show in the slide presentation just now. Okay, I can use this concept and then do NW load. But for this case, I don't want to use a plan all. Okay, for this case, I don't want to use this kind of this plan all. So I want to use this piping drawing. Okay, so using this piping drawing, I just directly use a command NW load. Okay, so but before you use this command, make sure your Navis work already open. So that will be the tips. Okay, so I just close this thing. Okay, make sure just your Navis work already open here. And also make sure that your Navis work have a same version with your plan 3D version. Okay, so after done with the first step, NW load. Okay, you can just directly go to this, uh, just type in N-W-L-O-A-D. Okay, so press enter and later you will see Navis work ready. Okay, just a simple command, N-W-L, Navis work ready. So what, what things to do next? So go to your Navis work, and then you need to append one by one drawing. Okay, just need to click on this append. Okay, for this case, if you want to append one by one, you can click on this one drawing, open, and then click append again, because we have a, uh, in a split folder, right? So it's quite difficult to select everything at one time. So unless you have 
uh, you want to use a plant all can be done also. Okay, so this will be the this example. I just want to demonstrate on if I want to append one by one. So basically, what are happening right now? So when I go to this selection tree, I will see this kind of drawing: one drawing, second drawing. Okay, and then click append again, and also can insert the piping and also uh, piping already done. The steel, for example, here, this one, one and two, open. Okay, one and two. Okay, using our own eyes, basically we can also check a clash. But the problem is, uh, if I have missed look into a certain thing, then it will be a big problem for my team. Okay, so then what I can do using Navis work, so they will have a few methods on creating clash or do a clash detective. Okay, first you can use drawing versus drawing. The second step, you can also use selection versus selection. Okay, or in Navis work, we call it as a set. Okay, where is the set? So this will be the area that you can create your own set later. Okay, you can manage a set, create, a set by clicking here. For example, I give you a very simple example. Okay, if I want to use a selection box, go to here, use selection box and select this item. Select this item, including, for example, including this. Okay, I believe already selected. Okay, and then click on this button to save selection. Okay, so this one you can rename it. Okay, no problem. Okay, one. Okay, for a second one, I want to create on this item. So for this item, basically, when I click on this structural, okay, this structural, okay, I cannot use the selection because I currently activate the selection box. I need to change to select, click this item. This one as a ST example. Okay, and then this one is a second one is VAV, VV. Okay, that's how we create a selection box. So you can also insert new item in existing selection box, uh, so existing set. Okay, using the selection box or using a simple selection. Okay, why we need to create this kind of thing? So because when you do the class detection later, so for example, I want to create a simple class detection first. So when I want to create a class detection, just need to click on this top button, class detective. So later one pop-up will come up over here. Okay, they will have a few buttons that we need to know. Rules, select, resolve, and report. Okay, at this moment, everything are gray out because we don't create any test yet. Okay, there are currently no clash test defined at this moment. To create a new clash test, click on this, add test. Right? So over here in a selection A and selection B, they will have a four options to do the selection. The first one is a standard selection. This one just the same like your drawing arrangement. Okay, basically compact also the same. Okay, compact if you have many things in, uh, in a certain same area, it will try to simplify the drawing. Properties, it depends on each item, geometry or anything. One by one. Okay, one by one over here. When I, I just try to make it bigger. Okay, AutoCAD, Autodesk material, material, summary and everything. These properties. Okay, and the last one is set. 
Okay, the site, the, 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 the idea that we just create. Okay, we created just now. Okay, but for this exercise, we want to focus on the whole drawing. So what we uh, can do, basically, we can do this thing. Click on this full drawing. Okay, so you want to compare drawing versus drawing. So if you see in my screen, so they will have uh, a standard that I set here. M203, 51, 1P. 1P is stand for piping. And then piping, and then this second one is 1E. 1E stand for equipment. So if I want to do the clash between piping and equipment, my recommendation is to rename first this one. Equipment versus piping. Okay, equipment versus piping. So in clash detection navy suit, they will have setting that you can change. Okay, either you want to do hard, hard conservative clearance or duplicate. Okay, if you're really not sure like this, you can ask me. So I can bring you to one portal, which is Autodesk Knowledge Network. So that area already, uh, it will explain more details on about these four type of clash. Okay, in this case, you can also go to the rules to tick. Either you want to ignore clash between a same layer item or same group of block item. Okay, you can click on this thing to do a rules or you can create a new rules. Okay, after you're done with the selection between these two, using a simple click run test. Okay, later you will see the result. One, two, three. Okay, in this equipment versus piping, you will see that 24 clashes are found right now. Okay, you can check one by one. Okay, but certain cases, your clash are purposely need to be a clash. Okay, it's not compulsory to do uh, to to make changes. For example, okay, from this twenty until the first one, this one are purposely to be crash because of this object are not detailed yet. Okay, this one is not actual the detail equipment yet. Okay, and then what I'm going to do, I can just temporarily make it resolve. Okay, when I change the status from new to resolve or to review, okay, you, you will see over here the clash from new 24 change 20 to this resolve. Okay, the next step is about if you have problem something like this. Okay, the, this area that you already know, this one is a structure and this one is a buff. And then have problem, have clash. So how to encounter this problem? So in this Navy work clash detection, click on this item at this bottom area. So either you want to edit your piping or either you want to edit your equipment. Okay, my equipment is a structural beam. And my piping is a pipe inline asset, which is the buff. Okay, in uh, for this case is one zero two one, the line number for this pipe, this buff. If I plan to edit my piping, so I just need to go to this area, click on this switch back. But if I want to edit my structural, go to this item to area, switch back. So what will happen when I click? So click this thing, click switch back. Okay, so you need to go back to your plan 3D. Okay, so without doing anything, the software will bring brings you to direct 
to zoom in, uh, it will help you to zoom in at the area that have problem. Okay, so just now I open this file in a home view. When I click switch back, it will bring me to here. So, and then what I go in, uh, what I able to do, I just need to do a rotation for my drawing. Click here. Okay, and then do the rotation using ortho, for example. Done. Okay, so done, done repair everything. For example, I just want to change to this location. So now I can just directly click save. Okay, go back to my here. And then this one, basically we already can change this one to horizon. Okay, and also you can do a rerun test. So when you do it a rerun test, so what will happen basically, So I need to upload, re-upload back first my 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 file here because my file is not linked together right now. Okay, I just click here and save again. Save again. Okay, should be when you save from your Plan 3D or your Revit or your Inventor, and then you do it this concept, it will directly update here when you do a rerun test. But for sure you don't do one by one. Okay, make sure you finish everything, do the changes, everything before you re-upload here, your file back. Okay, next. Okay, click refresh, piping update, and then rerun test. Okay, next, we are also able to do report for my drawing here. Okay, so that none, now already become 23 active. And then one already done here, resolve. Okay, I just need to update here. Okay, after you're done with all these kind of things, and then you want to do a reporting for submission or for presentation purpose. Okay, you can click on this report. Okay, you can just directly do some setting here. What things that you want to show in your report, the content you, that you want to show. Okay, but make sure you already set here properly. Lah. Okay, for example, this case, this case, I want to assign to some person, for example, ST team. Okay, to make it fast, so I can do the selection something like this, assign this one also as ST team. Okay, it will assign everything. Okay, approved by, by who? And then approve date or something, you can change from this table. Okay, go to report back. And for example, I want to do everything, the content, everything. Okay. So you can change the report format from XML, HTML, text file. For example, I want to use HTML. So I click here, write report, and then it will save into the file location that you can select anywhere. So make sure easy for you to look for it. Okay, preparing the report, and then you just can directly open your report file. Okay, done. So my report finished already. So I just need to go to my desktop and then look for the file. Okay, this one is too many items here. I just go to this detail view, date modify. So this one, piping and equipment and piping HTML. So this will be the report. Okay, if you don't want to do uh, all this kind of item and then you just can untick from the content hole. Okay, this will be the HTML file. Okay, what if you, if you want to do in Excel? So you can save as XML and then convert 
or copy to your uh, open from the Excel. Okay, the XML file can be open from your Excel. Okay, for this case, the things that I already resolved, which is this one, already resolved. Okay, this will be the item can be view because this one is a HTML, right? Okay, can view here something like this. Then turn back. Okay, depends on the workflow that you prefer in your company. So that's how we work in class detection in Naviswork. So basically, Naviswork, we have more features that are good for everyone. Okay, for example, you want to do measuring and then create a view viewpoint. Okay, for example, here I want to do a measurement. So click on this. This review measure from this face to another face. To another face. Okay, to another face. Okay, after you're done with this view, okay, so you already create the, the measurement. So go to this viewpoint, click save viewpoint. So this one is palm distance for view one so whenever that you already change the view and then do the uh, movement or anything click on this viewpoint it will brings you back to this location the measurement missing already okay so this pump distance Right, so that will be the idea on how we work in Navis work. Okay, for those that are planning to automate more your uh, class checking, Autodesk have one more features. We call it as a, a Collaborate Pro, Autodesk Collaborate Pro. So that one you can use a cloud-based things, upload your plan 3D projects, just same like what I tried to show you at the beginning of my presentation, okay, on my project here collaboration project okay then what will happen this one we will work in a cloud okay means you can access the file everywhere as long have internet connection and then also can be uh, can do the class check online also no need to install the software so you just need to have collaborate pro Autodesk collaborate pro okay that will be the the, the idea that i want to share for everyone okay is there any question from all participants from Facebook Live or from all Zoom? Uh, hello, uh, sure. Chepik. Sure. Uh, hello. Hello. Yeah. Can yeah. Uh, Chepik. Okay. Uh, based on the clash report that you just made, yeah. Does the clash report uh uh mention any apa, reference ID for the clash item? Reference um, ID for yeah. Because each thing, each each item has a reference ID, right? For easy yeah. searching, yeah. But reference for the for the ah, uh, eh? is it in, in the setup or? I need to entity handle uh, the numbers here, the layer here. Fine. Reference ID. All right. Thanks for the question. Okay. So let me check on the Navy server first. So for the clash report, so clash detective over here uh this one this information i believe they don't take all from the plan 3d but wait well, let me check from the item that have here that we checked just now this item so i go back to this selection tree so this will be the only no id here no information over here Okay, good question. Later, uh, I can respond to Suhaimi, right? Okay, so I can respond to Suhaimi. Okay, and I try yeah, yeah, to yeah. make one simple video for this and upload to our YouTube channel. So good okay. question. I try to make it. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, uh, so uh, it's yeah, like, Shafiq, yeah. uh, regarding the switchback, the switchback mm -hmm. uh, on the next work, does it work also work on uh, Revit or just yeah. uh, about there? Yeah. Okay, so switchback also work in Revit. If you okay, open okay. a Revit file or Inventor file, okay, just the same. Okay, 
Okay, just the same. As long as when you go to here, go to this item, make sure that you know on this dot .rvt or dot .iam for inventor. So know the file extension and then click. When you click, make sure the software already open. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. So Navisoft file version two zero download. I have Navisoft file version can download. So uh, CCW, thanks for your question. You means that uh, you want to open Navisoft NWF twenty twenty three to twenty twenty. Am I right? Okay, currently you already uh, you currently use uh, Navisoft twenty twenty, but you want to open the file twenty twenty three. Supplier give me 2023. Can I export to IFC in Revit? So unfortunately, uh, yeah, Autodesk 3D modeling. I believe most of 3D modeling, okay, except AutoCAD. You cannot open the higher version using the lower version software. Higher version file cannot be open using a lower version software. Okay, except AutoCAD lah, AutoCAD 2D. So. Uh, in this case, uh, you have uh, option to use temporary 2023, your Navis work. Okay, but the problem is uh, you still need to work with a Revit 2023 later on. Okay, this kind of problem. So I believe this one is uh, the, the problem of your business line not using a same, same version. Okay, so no problem. Thank you so much. Thanks, thanks for your question. All right, so if anyone have more question, you can chat on our Facebook. Okay, so just type in the question and I will respond there. Okay, and also you can PM your email address to communicate more or if you want to know more about this Navisword. Manage clash detection and also other features of Navisword. Okay, so I believe that will be my presentation for today. Thanks everyone for joining our free online lesson. Okay, don't forget to go to our website and then check on a lot more topics that we want to publish, uh, we want to do demonstrate later. So for ball connection in Revit, you can just join and then uh, learn how you can do the ball connection using your Revit. Okay, for those that focus on the PCB design, can use Fusion 360 to do the uh, electric, ele electronic cooling. Okay. So over here, and this one is a mold flow. 3ds Max also have, we have topic. So quite interesting topic for this month. Okay, try to join if you have a free time, and then share the video from our Facebook page. Okay, thank you everyone, and stay safe. Uh, see you for our next free on lesson. Okay. All right. Bye bye.